Don't, Frankie, don't play games. Not about this. I'm not. You did a 180 when I told you that I had checked out those security tapes. You saw her, didn't you? Yes. You saw Kathleen and you didn't tell me? Come on, Frankie, yes or no? No, I didn't tell you, all right? I didn't tell you that Kathleen's alive. Look, I've already made up my mind. I don't have to be there. Michael. Yeah, no. thanks. Are they still in there? Yeah, and it's very, very quiet in there. What were you expecting? I don't know what I was expecting, actually. With Paulina, Iris, and Donna all in the same room with Jake. Ooh, I know, he doesn't... Ryan doesn't exactly go by the book. Yeah, but I see Ryan's point. I mean, if Jake is going to talk, he might as well talk with some interesting people mm. in the room. <laughs> I'm surprised Morgan allowed this whole thing. Morgan doesn't know. Uh, she thought she had to wait until tomorrow. So, Jake got chatty tonight. Did somebody call her? Uh, Ryan's in there taking a statement. With all three of those women? Yeah, Ryan's hoping that maybe Jake will point a finger at one of them and we'll wrap this whole case up. Are you worried that Jake might say it was Donna? I know. I know it wasn't Donna. Donna didn't shoot Jake. I just can't figure out why she was so hell-bent on getting over here to talk to Jake alone. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking Donna came charging over here to stop Jake from talking. The question is, what doesn't Donna want anyone else to hear? Shot me. Some visitors, Jake. Jake. You gave everyone quite a scare. Jake. Discuss, Jake? Oh, just a few minutes ago. I said that if you saw these ladies, you might recall what happened to you just before you were shot. Take your time, Jake. Just tell us what happened. I can't. But you just said that... I know what I said. I... What, Jake? Not to them? Are you sure you can't go on? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, ladies, I, I appreciate your help. But he hasn't said anything yet. I'm not leaving. Listen. If Jake has something to say, we then all want to hear it. I said your job is over. Now, be nice or I'll kick... I'll ask you to leave myself. This is an outrage. I'm a member of the board. I really don't think he can handle this kind of I pressure. I just want to move before he gets his defenses He's only up. been conscious for a few hours. I only need one name. After I get it, I swear I won't bother him again. Dr. Hudson, Dr. Hudson, code blue. Dr. Hudson, code blue. I mean it. I will. This is ridiculous. I don't know why you have to badger him. Everybody knows who shot him. I never said that. You don't know? You don't remember anything? You said you wanted to talk, Jake. It's in pieces. That's all? Uh, the gun going off. It sounds... It's right. And see. Who fired the gun, Jake? It was dark. W what about before the gun was fired? Who was with you? I can't remember. It's okay. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll come back to you. No. Maybe it's better than it does. What? Michael said... That I had done things. That I had hurt people. Do you remember what you did to those people? Who they were? I remember that I was scared. And I wanted to run. Because I had done... be a little more specific, Jake? Priest. You want to see a priest? That's what I said. Okay, look, I'll check back in a couple hours, all right? Bye-bye. Hi, Has Jake said anything yet? Uh, no, nothing official. My brother is in there with him right now. Good, great. Maybe I can get an exclusive for sophisticated thing. So you think Donna was here to keep Jake quiet? Absolutely, I do. And you think she's still protecting someone? Well, what else could it be, Stacy? I don't know, but whatever it is, we're not going to get it out of her. Look, something else happened while we were at the courthouse for the sentencing that I didn't tell you about. What? I saw Donna talking with a man, someone I'd never seen before, but... They seemed to know each other quite well. They could, were talking very intently. Could you hear what they were saying? No, but they were arguing. Well, who is this guy? I don't know, but we can find out. I had him followed, and I copied down his license number. Great. Give it to me. I'll give it to Frankie, and she'll run a make on No, don't do that. Why not? She doesn't mind. No, it's really, it's, it's late. Please. She'd do anything for Stacey, you. Stacy, I saw Come Frankie on. earlier tonight. And from the looks of them, I'd say Cass and Frankie have all they can handle right now. When? When did you know? I was suspected for a while. But when I first started watching the tapes, I... That was over a month ago! I wasn't sure at first. So what? You could have come to I me! I couldn't come to you, Cass. You were swamped. Every minute you had was taken up with that trial. Frankie, I had a right to know! I had no idea what this was going to do to you, Cass. I, I, I didn't know if it was going to make you hope or, or, or make you crazy with worry. Make you lose the trial? And all for what? For a false alarm? You're supposed to be honest with me about everything. I was going to tell you. You deliberately kept this from me. I had to until I was sure it was Kathleen. And I wasn't sure it was Kathleen until I saw her with my own eyes. You actually saw her? Yes, yes, I saw her. I'm sorry. I think you'd better tell me about everything. Now. I'm trying to find the right time to tell you. I... You actually thought there'd be a good time to tell me. I thought after the trial... When did you I... see her? When we stayed at the Lakeview Hotel. She was in Chicago. At the hotel. Right, of course. You were a nervous wreck. You kept going on and on about what Kathleen meant to me, what I meant to her, what the hotel meant. I 
didn't ask you to follow me there, you know. It was like a Marx Brothers movie, wasn't it? My two wives leaping behind potted palms every time yes, I walked in the room. Like that. And there I was ordering strawberries and champagne. Just stop what an it. Idiot. Just stop it. I, I didn't want to be doing that. I was terrified the whole time. I don't care how terrified you were. There is no excuse for what you did. Yes, Cass, there is an excuse. Getting ready for bed? Mm -hmm. Feeling any better? Fine. I'm always fine, you know that. And I'm the insensitive Claude. I didn't say that. But that's what you were thinking. Joe, I'm tired. I just... I don't want to fight. And I hate being shut out, Kathleen. Shutting you out. You've been treating me like a piece of the furniture. You want reassurance? You're a prince. I'd be nowhere without you. How's that? Don't you ever talk down to me. Now, we were doing pretty well until you got into your head to go back to Bay City. I'm going to hear about this till the end of time. Probably, particularly since Winthrop showed up. You thought I wouldn't know about that? Eyes everywhere, isn't that what you always say? And it's best you remember that, baby. Now, suppose you tell me what you two talked about. You know, I hate it. Times. I hate it when you spy on me. You're my responsibility. Cass isn't. And what I say to Cass is none of your business. You know that's not true. He didn't stay very long, Joe. It was over before it even began. Excuse me if I don't buy that. He's gone. Back to Bay City. Back to his new wife. Can he keep his mouth shut? Nothing to worry about. I don't believe that either. Believe it. I made sure that he'll have nothing to do with me. Is that good enough for you? So this is it. <laughs> it's my fault. That's why the wall went back up. Just forget, Cass, okay? Can you? Or more importantly, can he forget you? Joe, please. I just want to get some sleep. How was it? Seeing him again. It's hard. Yeah. So I can tell. But I still have this question. Is any of this about Jake? always was. I really want to believe that, baby. And I hope we find out who shot him in fast before we both get blown out of the water. Okay, everybody out. Let's go. I thought you were going to let us stay. Well, you thought wrong. Jake and I have to have a little talk. He said he wanted a priest. Everyone's still here. Come on, I want this room clear. You heard him. Let's go, everybody out. Jake's serious about having a priest. It better be for the last rites. And there's a uniform officer at the end of the hall. It's Donna's escort. Come on, Don. I'll walk you down. Okay, Jake. Level with me. I am. I want to see a priest. Oh, you'll get your priest. But first, I want to hear your version of what happened. Jake, I woke up. I'm okay. Jake, somebody shot you. And we can't get that person until we get your testimony. If I don't care, why should you? And you don't care? You got a second chance. I'm not gonna blow this one. So why don't you start by telling the truth? cared about myself. I, I thought I had it handled. So what happened? 
happened? It started falling apart. What did you do? I made mistakes. I see things different now. Yeah. Almost dying can change your perspective on the past real quick. I know it's important. It's really important. So you're a changed man now? You didn't believe me. Oh, I don't know. What I do know is that somebody's got to take the rap for shooting you. I'll take the rap. Who fired the gun, Jake? I want to see a priest. Who fired the gun? I want to see a priest. You'll get your priest. I told you now. You If it's not, Sunday at 7. I'm sure the woman on those tapes was Kathleen. And when that checked out, I had to find out what she wanted. Why? What? Cass, your dead wife is walking around in a wig. I, I, I could see my whole life changing before my eyes. Honey, she obviously didn't want you to know she was alive. I knew that for sure. And she had me chloroformed. That is why I followed her to Texas. Of course. That's why you went to Texas. She's living down there. I found out where. You two had a little chat? She wouldn't tell me much. Only that I wasn't supposed to tell you she's alive. So the two of you kind of figured it all out, huh? It wasn't like that, baby, I swear. Kathleen never mentioned anything about actually meeting you. You saw her? That's where you've been? Frankie. You treat me like I have broken some sacred trust and you're sitting on this? You didn't tell me for weeks! I suspected for weeks! You sweat a confession out of me like I'm on trial for, for or something and then you don't even Frankie. tell me that you have seen Kathleen! What is happening to us, Cass? This is really taking a while, isn't it? Well, I hope Jake is giving a full description of what happened that night. He can't. What? It's what he said. Well, I know that... There are times when trauma victims can't remember the incident. You mean it's a total blank? I've been doing research for an article, and apparently they just block out the terror of it. Yeah, the body just protects the mind from information it can't handle. I had no idea. So how long do you want to hang out for? Uh, as long as it takes. Look, is it really possible that Jake's memory's blocked? Medically, it's possible, yes. But this is Jake we're talking about. I mean, coma or no coma, he would say anything to get out of this. Yes, Jake's asked for a priest. He's going to tread the path of righteousness. Well, Iris, you seem skeptical. Well, we are talking about Jake, aren't we? I am skeptical. Iris, for once, I have to say I agree with you. I really hope this is worth the wait. I'm holding up the whole next issue. Got enough? I don't know why you're here anyway, Paulina. Jake has got to be nothing for you but a bad memory. It's true, Paulina. Go home. I'll call you tomorrow morning with anything you want to know. Look, why don't, don't you come back to the office with me? No. Why not? I'd just be in the way, Greg. Look, I, I won't let you be in the way. All right? It's better than just sitting around here. That's true. Yeah, all right. Good. Let's go. Bye. See you. See you later. She has been in there quite a while. Well, isn't she allowed to go to the ladies' room? But I'm supposed to have her back in her cell all right, before All right, all right. I will talk to her, okay? What I said is just between us. Now, you're 
You know it is, Jay. Thank you. Well, think of this as a uh, start. Slate is clean now, right? But you see your parish priest after you leave here. Don't be a part-time Catholic. We have a lot to talk about. Remember, Jake? You mean love? That's right. And you went back to Marley. You hated me. And when Marley wanted to leave you, do you remember what you did? I heard you. And Michael. And Victoria. And Mikey. You took advantage of us when we were weak and needy. You convinced me that I could trust you. I slept with you. And you humiliated me. You made me admit what I had done and put it on tape. And Stacy used that tape to oh. take my son away. Listen to me. Marley realized what a liar you were. She wanted to get away from you. I love Marley. You forced yourself on her. No. You raped her. No. The sweetest, gentlest person I have ever known. Do you remember what happened, Jake? I shot you. I shot you, Jake. And do you know what? Do you know how much I hate you? Do you? A lot. You're alive now. But you want to stay that way. You leave Marley alone. That's right. That's right. Everybody thought it was Marley. And she would have gone to prison if I hadn't. You love her so much. Yes, I do. Me too. You dare to say that to me after what you did to her. I still love her. You'll never have her. That's why I had to do it. I was just leaving. Officer Dugan has become a little bit anxious. Sorry, I was just leaving. Better rest, Jake. I'm gonna need your strength. Donna, you didn't do it. I'm Iris Wheeler. Yes, Mrs. Wheeler. I want you to make sure that Mr. McKinnon is not bothered by any reporters. Those are his doctor's orders, And notify me the minute that he starts making sense. Ma'am? I need to speak to him alone. Listen, I don't think it's uh, necessary to mention Mrs. Hudson's extra visit to Jake's room. No problem. Great. You should get going now. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Hudson. Stacey, I've had it. I, I can't take you in around here anymore. You want to go? Hey, I'm ready. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, 
wired. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could sleep for hours. I know what you mean. I'm the same way. Yeah? You, you wound up enough to maybe uh, do some work? Sure, on what? Well, I've got so much legal work for the corporation I've been neglecting. Maybe you could help me. Maybe you'd want to go over to my place? Now? Yeah, well, you know, only if you're up to it. <laughs> hey, no time like the present. Yeah, let's go. Great. Hey. Hey. What do you say to a snack? In a totally different topic of conversation. Let's do it. Okay, Sassy's all right? Sassy's? Yeah, Matt told me the Dean may be playing there tonight. I told him I'd try to drop by. Uh, I don't know if I can handle that. My nerves are kind of frayed as it is already. Okay. All right, so we'll look for something else. Yeah. Let's go. Kaminsky with Channel 3. How are you feeling? This won't take Great. a moment. I was wondering if you could give a uh, statement to our viewers. A statement? Yes. Everybody out there is wondering, who pulled the trigger, Jake? And on top of everything else, you're sanctimonious. I was just trying to spare you, Frank. I knew how upset you'd be when you found out. Excuse me. You were trying to protect me? Yes, I was. So it's okay if you protect me, but it's not okay if I protect you. Yes. I mean, no. Which is it? I thought you'd prefer it this way. You always feel like you're living in Kathleen's shadow. This time, I was her shadow. Frankie, you get so... You know how you get about Kathleen. I figured that this would just make you more paranoid. Maybe I have a right to be paranoid. No. It is not your job to decide what I can handle, okay? Now, what else are you planning on hiding from me? Nothing. Then stop treating me like I am some frail flower. I have been strong for you plenty of times, haven't I? Oh, yes, of course you and have. Thank you. But can you see how what I did is different from what you did? Yes, I can. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Is this fight almost over? I don't know. What was it like to see you, Kathleen? Forget Brangel. Here's the facts from the coalition. Well, I guess they're not going to touch the tax relief project, are they? Nope. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Say, where's the uh, report on the SNLs? Uh, right here. Thanks. Uh, check when the vote is scheduled, would you please? Isn't it a little late for all this activity? <laughs> what do you think? I'm working nine to five. Are you trying to uh, distract me, Miss Corey? I might be. Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling fine. I missed you, Pauline. He's awake. So I gathered. I would have liked to have heard for myself. If there wasn't anything else to hear, he doesn't remember much yet. Did you get the full prognosis? They don't expect any lingering effects from the chest wound or the coma. Oh, thank God. I knew he would beat this thing. Well, they don't know about his memory. What are you doing? It doesn't look like I'm doing it. You're not thinking about going back to Bay City. I'm just going to get into his hospital room one Out more time. Out of the time. question. Joe, I have to see for myself. Winthrop knows you're alive. He will be looking for I will be him. careful. That's what you said the last time. Kathleen. Now, what if the wrong people find out you're still alive? What if they already have? What if that's why Jake was shot? Joe, I have to see for myself. I'm thinking about my family. I know you are, baby. I can't stay here. I will go crazy. I'm gonna go. 
Whether you like it or not. When I first saw her, I could... I couldn't believe it. But then she opened her mouth, and I knew it was true. I was in shock. Was she surprised to see you? I don't think so. No, not really. And how did you feel? Very confused. Angry, mostly. I mean, she did all this to get away from me. Oh, I'm not sure about that, baby. Well, she wasn't happy. I could tell that. And she blamed me for not coming to look for her. And that got to you? I should have gone to Alaska. You still feel guilty? I wanted to believe that she was still alive, but everybody told me that it was not possible. But that doesn't matter. I didn't go to Alaska. I didn't look for her myself. Did you tell her that? Did you ask her what happened? I asked her lots of questions, and she very effectively sidestepped them all. She was detached, doesn't even come close to describing her. It was nothing like I had imagined. And what had you imagined? That we'd take one look at each other, and it would be as if no time had passed. That we could still see inside of each other. Baby, is this hurting you too much? She didn't want me there. There was no laughing. You haven't said anything about love. She says she's with someone new. She sure didn't want any part of me. Why would you believe that? Frankie, I don't know what to believe. I believed that Kathleen was dead. It's so good to tell you this. Oh, we didn't have to do this to each other, did we, sweetie? Holding back costs a little too much. Oh, yes. Okay. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking that I felt a lot of the same things that you felt, and I don't even know her. Did you get the feeling she was vamping? Oh, a mile a minute. Yeah, me too. to me that that's one thing but lying to you that that's a lot more serious she said that she had started a new life she didn't answer any of my questions about him she said nothing about the guy and she wouldn't tell me his name anything but, but she did want you to know about it she even made a point of showing me his clothing it was very strange okay look i have to tell you something um after she thought i had left i heard her arguing with a man did you hear what they were saying? No, I didn't. Why is she lying? None of this makes any sense. And if she's lying to you, how can we believe anything she says? Maybe even about how she survived the plane crash. And why do cops in Alaska have a report saying she's dead? I'm with you. But how do we figure out what's really going on? Next. Anna, that I filed for divorce. You do? I think I finally got it through my thick skull that this relationship is never going to work. You sure this is what you want to do? I mean, have you really thought about it? Oh, yeah. And I would appreciate it if you would take care of it for me. Uh, what about a legal separation? Stacy, just do it, okay? Just do it. All right. I don't have to uh, tell you that I would like to maintain as low a profile as this as possible. Right. I know a couple of reporters that have a field day with this news. Well, my family has had enough publicity. Are you sure I'm the one to handle this? Yep. Why? Well, I'm acting as Donna's attorney, and losing you is going to be hard enough on her, let alone... I don't care, Stacy. To... I don't care. Look, there's something else, too. Donna and I had a bit of a... A run-in before her sentencing, and she seems to think that you and I are involved. We're working to clear her. Of course we're involved. 
Michael, she was really upset. Stacy, whether or not Donna is upset is no longer a concern of mine. It's just that I think it would ease the tension if there was another attorney taking this. No one can do that. Look, I know how you work. I'm counting on you to make this divorce happen quickly. I can't promise you that it's going to be easy. Donna will not give you any opposition. She'll cooperate. She said she would, she will. Well, I guess you know her better than I do. I know how Donna works. Donna's still trying to control my life from behind bars. I just don't want her to think that I have any ulterior motivation, that's all. She knows that we work closely together and spend a lot Stacey, of time... Stacy, come on. What I do with my time is none of Donna's business. Besides, I have kind of a good time. <laughs> How can you say that? This has been the most frustrating time I've had since... Well, yeah, but you're enthusiastic. You know, I mean, you were a real fighter. I've enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> You're a real fighter, too, if you don't mind my saying so. Look, will you stick with me through all this? After a build-up like that, how could I refuse? Uh, you can't, I hope. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll do it. Good. You're never so humble. Uh, you don't mind that I talk you into coming over, do you? No, I wasn't really in the mood for sassies anyway. I'll, I'll make it up to Matt. Can I get you a beer? I'm not drinking these days. I'll have a soda. Root beer, seltzer. Root beer sounds good. See if I can find something to munch on. Um, I'm just going to go comb my hair for a second. I'll be right out, okay? Sure. Hi, Bridget. Hi, it's Ryan Harrison. Fine, fine. How are you? Good. Is Vicky there? <clears throat> oh, she's not. Okay. Oh, no, I was just, I was just, um, I thought you might want to know that uh, Jake is wide awake. You do? Oh. Yeah, I've got it. Connie Kaminsky. I should have known. This is Connie Kaminsky bringing you an exclusive interview with shooting victim Jake McKinnon. For months, people have been waiting for you to come out of your coma, Jake. You have something very important to say. I, I have no idea how she got... Listen, Bridget, yeah, I've got to get going. Could you, could you just tell Vicky that I called? You hold the key. Oh, she did try and get in touch with me. Really? To that night, the night well, that's that you That's great. Shot. Thank you very much for letting me know. Bye. Oh, she didn't waste any time, did she? To shooting you. You're the only one who can verify that she's the one who put you in this hospital bed. I'm not sure. Don't tell me you're going to hold on on us, Jake. I'm responsible from what I hear. Who's been talking to you? People say I've done things. How do you... Things. How do you feel about that? I don't... I don't believe that they're true. How were you as a son-in-law? I made mistakes. Are you surprised about Donna Hudson? Did you actually think that your ex-mother-in-law hated you so I'm much? I'm not angry with Donna. You're not? I'm not going to press charges. You're not going to press charges against the woman who actually put a bullet in your chest? I want to lead a better life. I want to make up for some of the pain I caused the family. Your family? The Hudson's. You can say that after almost being robbed of your life. I'm alive. I've been given a second chance. I'm gonna do it better this time. I have no idea how she... Of course I placed a security guard. Now, Jake was supposed to sleep. No visitors. Morgan... Morgan, you can't say that. They'll just petition the judge. Fine. Bye. What's Morgan's problem? 
Oh, apparently she thinks she doesn't have one. She really doesn't care what Jake says. Why not? Uh, well, she doesn't think that, uh, well, that Jake is credible. Isn't that up to a judge to decide? Only if it goes to a judge. And Morgan's going to do everything in her power to see that it doesn't. She wants to see that the charges against Donna stick. Why? Oh, well, crime has been committed. There has to be a perpetrator. The state needs a perpetrator. So Morgan's going to make sure that Donna's it. Don't you think it's Donna? Jake knows. Jake knows who did this to him. Gotta find a way to get him to remember. I didn't think about this before, but it was as if Kathleen expected me. Well, maybe she sensed it. You two were very close, and she didn't know I was telling her. Oh. That's a good question. She was responsible for my being chloroformed, I'm sure of that. Yeah? Yeah. Kathleen wasn't doing this alone. Doing what? Whatever it is that she's doing. This guy that she's with is a part of it, for sure. It's more than getting away from me, and I'm going to find out how much more. Oh, well, well, wait. One more, one second here. We will find out how much more, okay? No more solo flights for you, Winthrop. I signed on for the duration. Remember that? I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I love you. Frankie, that hasn't changed. I'm not going to let it change. We will get to the bottom of this, but we will do it together. I wouldn't have it any other way. Wherever you go, I go, right? Right now, I'm going up to the bed. Relive the biggest mystery in history when the stars count the reasons we love soaps. Back-to-back -back Dallas filled with exclusive interviews you can't miss. Watch 100 Reasons We Love Soaps, Saturday, February 10th, starting at 1 p.m. on SoapNet.